just when I thought that Five Nights at Freddy's news anytime soon was a lost cause, Scott releases a massive update that confirms the development for a ton of brand new Five Nights at Freddy's projects. Pretty much every project on the list has been updated with fresh new information that we have yet to see. Halloween may have been a disappointment, but now we have a ton of information to work off of that warrants its own video. So let's go over this brand new set of Five Nights at Freddy's news and find out what madness Scott has in store for us. What's up gamers and gamer gals, right here right now we finally have another huge Five Nights at Freddy's update that confirms a brand new game along with the progress of Scott's other projects. As always if you enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a big ol like and subscribe for more Five Nights at Freddy's updates and speculation. Stay tuned for the end of this video where I shout out everyone who commented hashtag notice me Nathan at the end of the last video because there sure were a lot of responses. Now, without further ado, let's get started with today's video. At the beginning of this post, Scott posts a general comment talking about the progress of his projects. I've been promising an update, so here it is. There are a ton of great things being worked on and most of them will arrive in 2019, including new ports, new games, and new books. The movie progress is still slow, but that's okay because I want to get it right. Everything else, however, is moving full speed ahead. Don't worry, we'll go into a more in-depth discussion of each project in a minute. So overall, this is fantastic news because it means we won't have to wait as long as I thought for these new projects. I anticipated some would release next year, but I wouldn't have guessed that most, if not all, shall emerge in 2019. Excluding the movie, of course, because, well, more on that later. Scott has also confirmed that the console ports are officially in development, meaning Five Nights at Freddy's may be playable on consoles like the Nintendo Switch and Xbox, although I'm not sure how they're going to pull it off with the point-and-click mechanics that the game makes use of. Perhaps with the touchscreen on the Switch, we can get a proper port with that console. I'm only really saying this because I own a Nintendo Switch and it would be super cool if Five Nights at Freddy's surfaced on it. Aside from consoles, Scott has confirmed multiple games and books. Now don't get too excited about the games because by games he means AR, VR, and Five Nights at Freddy's clone. Nothing new. Again, more on that in a bit. New Five Nights at Freddy's books have also been confirmed with more news concerning them later in the post and this video. Of course, Scott would begin his post with the most popular project to date, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. And unfortunately for us, he doesn't bring the best news. Okay guys, I had a script written, Jason liked it, and Chris Columbus liked it too, but I tossed it. I had a different idea for it, one I liked better. I take responsibility for this delay, it's my fault. Damn it, Scott! The movie is back to square one yet again! I can really sense a pattern here. Scott begins with an idea in his mind, but then scraps it because it's not living up to his expectations. Scott has definitely set the bar high, and it just shows just how much he cares about his followers. Aw, thanks, Scott. Although it has been delayed numerous times, he has confirmed that the future could warrant more delays. I'm sticking to what I've always said, either the right movie gets made or no movie gets made. I hate delaying a project that's already seen so many delays, but I have to go with my instincts on what I think will be exciting and interesting, and what I think the fanbase will really want to see. If that means that I have to start over 10 more times, then by golly, that's what I'm going to do. The good thing is that each attempt gets better and better in my opinion, so despite the delays, it's going in the right direction. Direction. Scott is really going to break records with this movie because we really haven't had a stellar video game movie. That reason being, the creators don't dedicate enough time into it. Clearly, Scott is amassing a ton of his info to make this movie what he knows will satisfy the fan base. But I'm curious, would you rather see a mediocre Five Nights at Freddy's movie made ASAP or wait six years for a good iteration of the franchise? Let me know what you think in the comments. Also regarding films, he gives some info regarding the possible second and third movies. Since the first script was scrapped, these have probably been altered too, although he didn't explicitly state that. One thing most of you might want to know is what the movie and sequels, I hope, will take place in the universe of Five Nights at Freddy's 1 through 3 only. The games after Five Nights at Freddy's 3 will not exist in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie universe. Like it or hate it, I felt this was the best portion of the storyline 
storyline to really focus it on. To me, this is a bit disappointing because although it means we won't see characters like Baby and the mediocre Melodies, we also won't visit the sister location and bedroom of Five Nights at Freddy's 4. However, from a realistic standpoint, Scott's choice actually makes sense because all the games following Five Nights at Freddy's 3 would be difficult to adapt into a movie. After all, these animatronics are far more advanced than the bare bones and skin animatronics in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. I'm really looking forward to how Scott rewrites the lore to span over only three games. It'll be interesting to see how they work around Henry and Susie's deaths. Since both were caused by Baby, they'll have to work around the lore of the series. Good god, I hope I named the right victim. It was either Susie or Elizabeth. I'm super embarrassed. I can't tell the two deaths apart. Sorry to all you hardcore theorists out there. I have let you down. That just about does it for news regarding the movie, but we haven't even scratched the surface of this post slash update. I swear I've said that before. But regardless, now we're jumping into info regarding the VR game, which has some promising new details. This game is looking terrific. I'm working with a company called Steel Wool to bring the VR game to life. And these guys are making some crazy stuff. If you liked repairing Funtime Freddy up close in Sister Location, just wait until you do something like that in VR. Up close, personal, with these huge animatronics that are just one mistake away from jumping at you. I refuse to test it the first time and had my son Brayden test it instead. The repair section is one small part of the game, and for the first time, you're actually going to see an actual stage performance from this classic band. Wait, what? You mean to tell me this isn't a port of the original game and will feature brand new sections? That's it, I'm sold. I'm officially saving up for an Oculus so I can get a taste of this new kind of horror. This is probably the best news on the post so far. That's not true. You'll find out later in the script. I'm going off script just a second because it's obviously not true. Because this thing is halfway done. Previously, it was only the tech demo, but now look at it. The entire game is halfway developed. This could mean that the game may arrive around the start of next year. The last update was about two months ago, so theoretically, they could finish it by January. Again though, we really don't want to rush the development of this game, because in its current state, even nitpicky Scott enjoys it. I could honestly talk all day about this company and how good Scott's choice was, but for the sake of the time, you can read all about the people in charge of it by following the link in the description. It'll take you to their official website, and you can see their previous projects and professionalism. So it's nice to see that Scott is adding brand new content to his VR game. He also mentions a performance from the band, which is absolutely hype! It'll be as if you're at an old-fashioned Chuck E. Cheese, but instead with horrifying animatronics performing for you. To be frank though, those Chuck E. Cheese animatronics weren't exactly canny. Overall, I think we can expect a horrifying experience from this game, and I am more than confident in the studio behind the production. And of course, we can't forget to mention the AR game, which finally has some news regarding it. In the last video, it was just getting started, and in this video, it is, well, also getting started. The AR game is well underway, and while I'm not going to reveal any gameplay details yet, I will say that the impending doom of something hunting you will keep you up at night. What the f No. No. No, 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 no. One paragraph and I'm already downright terrified of this game concept. The idea of having Freddy somehow wander into your room at night is beyond terrifying. Perhaps what it'll do is a casual Five Nights at Freddy's game, but the hours are actually hours. I'm going to have to make a separate video predicting the features for this new Five Nights at Freddy's game. However, first I have a collaboration with Cool Tunes on the top 10 scariest Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics in the works. More on that later. This may be the most exciting yet terrifying news I've heard so far. Scott, you're really going out with this AR game and I'm going to make a solid prediction it'll arrive next Halloween. Next up is news regarding the Foxy Fighters clone, which now has a proper name, Five Nights at Freddy's Into Madness. Honestly, I think it's basically Five Nights at Freddy's World 2. This is the next game that I want to work on myself someday, a compilation of several previous gameplay ideas in the same vein as Update 2, just a free game for the fanbase. There isn't a guarantee that it will happen though, I'm still recovering from the first four years. 
Five Nights at Freddy's Into Madness seems like it's moving at a sl at the slowest pace compared to the other projects with a whopping 0% completion. The title is interesting, seeing as though madness was a huge part of Five Nights at Freddy's world. What I can see Scott doing is creating a hybrid of Five Nights at Freddy's world and Five Nights at Freddy's. It would satisfy both those looking for a new game and those disappointed about the cancellation of Five Nights at Freddy's World Update 3. He explicitly states it might not happen, so best to keep our expectations and hype at a minimum for now. Although I don't think that's possible with all the excitement surrounding the other projects. I've been writing this script as though I've had two cups of coffee and I'm just blazing through. Next up is the console ports, and the news is exactly what I wanted to hear. I'm working closely with the people at Click Team to create new, improved HD ports of all of the original games. They will be released on Android, iOS, Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. Yes! Thank you, Scott! This means that all Five Nights at Freddy's games will be available on one huge bundle and we won't have to wait for every individual title. I doubt that Five Nights at Freddy's 5 through Ultimate Custom Night would make the cut, but he could always add them as DLC later. As of now, the confirmed platforms are Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation, of course, and oh, what's this? Android and iOS? Well, it's good to see that the mobile platform is finally getting the love it deserves for once. After all, we have yet to get a Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria Simulator release and an Ultimate Custom Night release, although there are already ports for both by Rage and Nick out there right now, so that should keep us all occupied for a while. One thing to note is he's working directly with Click Team, meaning that this is the first time that even Click Team has tried moving to the console market. I honestly can't wait for these ports. If the company that made the game is built on helping they can't fail can you believe that we're still not done next up no no way scott you are an absolute madman is he actually serious another five nights of freddy's game but with a team hell yes just listen to what he has to say there is a big deal in the works to create an incredible big budget game. I can't reveal any details yet as this project is still in its planning stages, but I'm working closely with the studio involved to ensure that it delivers what I think Five Nights at Freddy's fans will want to see. I'm so done. This is the greatest Five Nights at Freddy's update in existence in existence. With a higher budget, this game could release on all platforms at launch and would go far beyond the limits of Click Team. It could be a free roam, have an endless story. The possibilities are endless. Am I, am I dreaming? I I'm dreaming, right? Th this is incredible news. Again though, I'll make a separate prediction video concerning this project. Finally, we've reached the last update on this post. This last update is about the books, and not the current branch, but a whole new series! There is a new line of books on the way from Scholastic. This will be very different from the original book series, as it will be a collection of short horror stories that take place in the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. The series will launch with five books, each containing three different short stories with unique characters and plot lines. some connected directly to the games and some not. There's so much unique stuff releasing for Five Nights at Freddy's that it might actually surpass the amount of existing projects. I'm not even joking. We are in for a Five Nights at Freddy's field next three years and a whole lot of new scares. And to top it all off, Scott finishes with, that's everything for now. Time to get time for more coffee. Yes, Scott, you have your coffee. You deserve it, my friend. And that concludes the biggest and longest update on this channel. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'm super glad you stuck with me till the end. I'll be developing tons of videos during Thanksgiving break. However, they won't release till after since I'm visiting family, so stay tuned for that. Before I go, I just want to give some quick shout outs to Ants, some artists, Bunka Plays, Fax the Lemon, Mythical Beast 27, Lol One Pop Productions, Fred Bear Gamer 150YT Official, That One Person 19, JJJ Jervon C, Time, and finally, Nate the Great. Thank you all for your support. What do you think about this news? Are you excited or are you about to explode like me? Tell me in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and thank you for selecting Awesome Gamer Dude. And I'll see you all back here soon. Goodbye for now.